Hey, what is up guys, DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we are gonna be doing some boss battles. We are gonna be doing the ultra difficulty and the extreme difficulty for the New Year Mochi Scramble. The team we're gonna be using is an all ABL type team because the boss is a strength type Deku. You get some pretty good rewards for this. Let me show you guys the team I am using here, and we'll pick a friend unit. We'll pick the friend Todoroki, it doesn't really matter who I choose. I am running an all level 100 team with the exception of the brand new holiday threads at Deku. Realistically, we hopefully will not need the subunits, so I am running All Might and Mirko as my main units. I feel like we don't get to use these characters as much as I would like to, and I'm also running Fantasy Todoroki for the increased crit rate, so let's hop into it and see how it goes. Starting with Ultra Difficulty, he has 588,800 health. That's not too bad uh, compared especially to when you see the extreme difficulties health. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So let's go ahead and we'll do this first and this and then this and we'll just go down the line. 46,000 not bad. Increase our crit rate. Okay. And he's down already over 100,000 health, 140,000 pretty much. So that's not bad damage, it's pretty good. I think these characters are hopefully gonna get through this very, very quickly compared to previous events on Extreme and Ultra that we've done, but we'll see. I feel like the blue characters are just very stacked when it comes to like power. All right, and we'll use these three plus ultras. Might need to switch up the memory on Mirko a little bit for extreme, that way we get all the plus ultras on the same turn. Defense down. 99,000 damage. And then our other Todoroki should do a decent amount as well, 56,000. We almost three turn this. If we had had Mirko's plus ultra, we definitely would have three turned this. Oh no, and we got stunned. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right, and then we'll finish it up right here. And that was ultra difficulty without losing a single character. We did perfect that. So that was not too bad, honestly. Three stars. And there we go. Honestly, I think this is one of the easier events on ultra difficulty. So you shouldn't struggle with it. That said, I am using three level 100 characters. You might be like, that's unfair. You're using three <laughs> level 100 characters. This is going to be hard, harder for a free to play person to do. Really, there are a lot of good blue SR units as well. So I think you'll be fine. That is my opinion though. Let me know how it goes for you down in the comments. On to Extreme. We are using the same exact team for Extreme that we used on Ultra. The only thing that is different is the memory on Mirko. So that hopefully she gets her plus Ultra on turn three. Other than that, our goal is to get it done in roughly 10 tries. You are never gonna get this done in one try. So as long as it's similar to previous events, we can get it done in about 10 tries. Let's go ahead and hop it. Okay, yes, so 10 million health, that is about the norm for extreme. And I do actually like extreme because you do farm out a fair amount of tickets as you're going through it. And it's just a nice farmable event for you to do. So let's go ahead and do this, this, and this. So our goal is roughly, we wanna aim for about 1 million per go. And we'll see if we get it here. Okay, and we'll go like this, and this, and okay. He's down actually a good amount of health from 10 million down to 9 million 700 thousand. That is actually really good damage after two turns. We're gonna go ahead and do all these. We'll do the friend Todoroki's as well because he can decrease defense and he gets to go first. So there's the decrease in defense. Mirko gets hers, then our Todoroki should go, then our All Might. I, oh, really? Actually, I thought my Todoroki was gonna be faster. I'm surprised. All right, well, that's fine. And we might get plus ultra this turn, so this is gonna be a little bit scary, but we'll see. Who's he gonna go after? He's going after All Might. Oh, okay, he actually didn't do that much damage, but he did stun All Might, so. But even then, it's not a big deal because the stun only lasted one turn, so we're good. 72,000 damage from All Might, nice. Mirko do 99,000, Jesus, Mirko. Really getting her chance to shine here, that's actually impressive. Frozen, nope, no freeze, he resists it, okay. Keep that in mind, he resists freezes. All right, we are on turn seven of 10, our second round of plus ultras. 
Yep, hit Mirko more. The lower she gets, the harder she hits, so we're okay with that. All might for 56,000. I wish Todoroki was a little bit faster, but unfortunately he's not. Maybe we need to put a speed memory on him in order to increase the speed. That way he's getting his plus ultra first and decreasing Deku's defense by 25%. Right, and we'll do this, increase our crit rate again. We have already done over a million damage, so we've far surpassed our goal. We've almost done 1,500,000 damage, which is like really, really good. Okay, Mirko got hit pretty hard right there. That's fine. Uh, what do we want here? Yeah, let's use the plus ultra. 34,000. Pretty good damage. 62,000. Yeah, it was definitely worth using the plus ultra right there. Okay, that's not bad at all for our first time. I think we could raise the damage even more than that if we make Todoroki a little bit faster. 1,599,000 in one go. This should definitely not even take 10 goes, which will be awesome. I think I'm going to switch the memory a little bit for Todoroki, and I'm going to go through the rest of these runs. I'll show you guys the very last run, and we'll see how many tries it actually took to do this. All right, so we were really, really close to getting it done in six tries, which is amazing. As you can see, we got our damage up to 1,735,000 per run, which is actually ridiculous. I do think this is probably the easiest extreme event we have had so far, just because there are so many good blue characters that can do massive amounts of damage. We're gonna finish it up here with our last run. Let's go ahead and do that. So for this last little bit, we have 340,000 health left on Deku, which is basically nothing at all. We should be able to kill him off with our first three turns, I think. Yeah, it, we should definitely be able to do that with our plus ultras coming up on the third turn. We might even kill him before then, but I think it will take us all three turns at least. So now he's down to 215,000. And it's just barely going to take us the three turns. 56,000. Like always, they're consistently putting out this damage. It's very, very nice. And it's going to take us the friend plus ultra plus one of our plus ultras. And we have this in the bag. And here we go, the end of Extreme Deku. We'll watch this animation through. Cool guys don't look at explosions. There he is, he is dead. Oh man, that feels good. That actually feels really good to get that done in seven tries. So there you go, you could probably even get it done faster. Let me know what your turn count was. How many tries did it take you to complete extreme difficulty down in the comments? If you had a faster way or a better team, let us know, help everybody out. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me those comments. Like I said, peace.